In case you're wondering what the world you're looking at, you're looking at a rough draft, a rough cutout rather, of a model for my bolt hull. Um, it's basically for every inch in the model in the model space, or in the real world rather, it represents two feet in the model space, and this is a 24 inch or 48 foot <laughs> model, scale down model of the hull. And initially I was worried if this uh, chine boat would have any shape to it and any type of, you know, performance. And I would say I am very pleased with the look of this hull. It is a multi-chine hull. And as you can see, looking aft, it has a shear, an upper chine, a lower chine, and this tapers to where the keel would be here. This is where the keel would be. I've got a long keel that's about, uh, hmm, I think it's three, three feet deep off the bottom of the hull. That'll extend probably from about here. Let me show you in profile. Probably from about here. Uh, there'll be a skeg hung rudder uh, all the way down and it tapers into the bow. So it comes up like this and then back and then it uh, runs into the to the uh, rudder. But I'm liking this. It kind of reminds me of the um, the Volvo Ocean Racers. It's funny because that just started today. Um, in terms of how it looks, um, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it won't be as slow as um, you know some say multi-chine hulls are. And uh, you know from my research, you know, I found out that again by adding that radius. Uh, to the chine, you can decrease the eddies, which hopefully will uh, decrease some of the drag. It is a long keel. I do want to cruise, so I'm not really that concerned about it. But of course, wanting to maximize, ex you know, what I do have. Um, I have a few more things to add to it. I have a um, few pieces of styrofoam yet to add. The actual bow of the boat sits up another foot and nine inches from what I've done so far and the same thing goes for the aft the aft part tapers so when the hull is finished it's going to have a pretty interesting profile to me it looks like a uh, like a sports car or something <laughs> a, uh, a Cadillac in the water so I'm pretty happy with this I'm going to glue these tonight with some epoxy. Oh, and also, there's a portion that goes aft. The styrofoam only came in 24 inch lengths, and this boat, after all, is 20, uh, I'm sorry, 50 feet 7 inches, so I have these little pieces to add to the transom. So I'm going to glue all this stuff up tonight and uh, sand it tomorrow. Um, thinking about actually fairing this thing. I've got some micro balloons downstairs and lots of epoxy from a small boat built for the um, tender. And uh, I think I'll paint it again and, um, you know, maybe put some work into it. You know, if, you, if you're going to do something, I guess, make it look pretty, right? That's what we love about boats. So, at any rate, this is just a little update. Um, I wanted to show you this because I think when I finish it, it's going to look pretty good. So I want to see the rough, show you the rough stages of it. And if you ever need to make a model for your own of anything, you know, styrofoam is a great uh, medium to work with. Uh, again, once you, you know, this is a rough cut. I mean, look how raggedy that looks. But you can actually sand this stuff like wood. And it, it sands pretty well. I actually sanded the hull with a little block and um, you know just for you know a minute or so and it came out pretty good and so I'll be able to 
you know, put some some of uh, the fairing compound on that and go back and sand it, and it sh should look even better. But we'll see. So, just a little simple update. It's Tuesday night, at eleven o'clock. So get this done, get ready for work tomorrow, and um, hopefully get it finished by Tuesday. I've got an appointment with a consultant on Tuesday, and I kind of want to show this to them. Um, you know, at any rate, from Maryland, until the next time, peace and blessings.